Whoopi Goldberg's heartfelt praise for Anthony Fauci, lauding his dedication to public health and his resilience in Washington, D.C., has stirred a whirlwind of controversy. These commendations, however, have not gone without criticism, particularly surrounding Dr. Fauci's handling of the COVID-19 pandemic. So before, before we start, people are so glad to see you. So thank you for coming on the show and for everything, everything you've done from the very beginning. Um, it, it's extraordinary. And, and you're no worse for the wear. <laughs> you look good. Yeah. And you say empathy has always guided you as a physician and a public servant. But there's also a Latin phrase that has consistently come up for you. And I'd love you to mm -hmm. share it and tell everybody what it means. Well, when I was getting my education in high school, Latin and Greek was an important part yeah. of our classical training. It was actually at Regis High School, a few oh, blocks yeah. Yeah. from here. It was That's a right. Jesuit school. And one of the things that they mentioned to us when things got down and you felt that the world was caving in on you was illegitimately, illegitimate non carborundum, which means don't let the bastards wear you down. Yeah. Boy, does that hold true. Yeah. <laughs> well, you, you know, you look, you are probably one of the classiest people I've ever watched move around in Washington, yeah. D.C. Mm -hmm. So... <laughs> And, you know, it's I, I can't I, I just want to raise my dress, <laughs> you know, but I don't want to take. A Anthony Fauci's advice and policies during the pandemic have been met with a mixture of trust and doubt. Whoopi Goldberg's glowing endorsements seem to overlook the heated debates and fierce scrutiny that have accompanied Fauci's decisions. The calls for transparency and accountability resonate deeply raising questions about the motivations and effectiveness of measures like mask mandates and social distancing rules. Critics argue that mainstream media often exhibits bias, failing to hold certain public figures to account. Goldberg's enthusiastic support for Fauci may be seen as a reflection of this bias, potentially skewing public perception by promoting one narrative while sidelining others. In a time when balanced reporting is crucial, especially on polarizing topics like public health policy, it is imperative that all perspectives are considered. The public deserves a full, unvarnished account of Anthony Fauci's role and the criticisms he has faced. While Whoopi Goldberg's praises offer a view of admiration and respect, they also highlight the need for a thorough and balanced appraisal of Fauci's actions during the pandemic.